Bruno from RVing TV. And Annette from Bella Vista RV. And today we're here for a new parts pick of the week. We're going to cover a down and dirty topic. Toilet paper. <laughs> this is very important and most RVers go wrong here. Uh, we have RV paper, so I'm going to pass it over to Annette. Annette, why is RV paper so important? Right. So RV toilet paper is is important because it de biodegrades faster than your regular household toilet paper. Now keep in mind your household uh, plumbing it's much larger than your RV, so it has more time to degrade. Whereas your RV it's like in and out, so you need something that's going to degrade faster and not clog up your system. Um, it, it also can, uh, the household stuff can clog your sensors, um, make them, make it so they can't be read properly. But so. the difference basically is this paper, if you were to put it into a clear cup and let it sit and degrade, it basically breaks more into little balls. Where household paper, and we're all kids, if you remember back to our days at school when you did paper mache, that's basically what your household paper does. It turns into a sludge or a paper mache and lines your inside of your tank. And it likes to stick. So when Annette is saying the sensors, what it'll do is as you drain your tank, that sludge will attach itself to the inside of the tank. And if it attaches where a sensor is, you're gonna drain your tank and your tank gauges are gonna say I'm half full, I'm three quarter full, or I'm full. If you're lucky, the next time you fill your tank and it's sitting a while, maybe it'll moisten that again and cause it to come off. However, in a lot of cases we've seen, and the service managers will love you guys for using household paper, we've seen that it builds up and it builds up and it builds up and it can become very expensive. So, yes, some of you are probably saying, my God, have you seen the price of RV toilet paper? Yes, it is a little more expensive, but it's going to save you a big headache. Plus, what I would do, little hint with our parts person here, I'm going to bet Annette would love to sell you a case for the season instead of a pack at a time, and maybe you guys can have a chat. I might be speaking out of tune, but... I know I used to do that. Talk to me, we'll work a deal. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And never mind, yes, it's a little more expensive pack by pack, but if you get your sensors clogged because that paper is lining the tank, what have you normally seen that people have to do to try to get that so off? So then you're getting into your tissue digester, your level gauge cleaner, anywhere yep. from 25 to $30. And you'll hear in the campground, the old RVers trick was, you know, make a bunch of ice in your ice maker, throw it down the toilet, fill up, after you filled up the tank, get in your truck and go drive the next half an hour, an hour to slosh the ice around. Why? Because the ice is rubbing on the outside of the tank, or sorry, the inside of the tank, hopefully rubbing against the paper. But I'm gonna tell you, it doesn't work very well. Sometimes you get lucky if it just happened, you've only started using household paper. Most of the time you've gotta to go to a level gauge cleaner or a tissue digester, pour in the bottle. These bottles are 25 to $30 each for one application. Fill your tank, let it sit for a day or two, take it for a drive, and think about today's gas prices, eh, Annette? Yeah, Having to go for all these drives and the amount of money you're spending not only on chemicals, but on your fuel to try to, to resolve this problem. If it's really bad, your only solution, and I've seen this in my dealer days, you've probably seen it where people have used two, three, four of the bottles and it still, still doesn't it's make a difference. Yeah, it's way too far gone. Same with using toilet chemicals, you get the same buildup if you're not using your toilet chemicals in there because the solids are building up. Your only solution, I hate to say it, is go into your dealer, have them pull the tank, replace the tank. And if you've got built-in sensors, wow, are you going to get a shock at the price. The cost of 
that little extra you're gonna pay for good RV paper over household paper is gonna look non-existent to the cost of replacing a tank. Um, now, speaking of paper, I'm gonna put this down. You know, Annette here has the Valterra two-ply paper. And just like household paper, there's different quality levels. The two-ply, I know I've used this, the two-ply is really nice. Uh, there are some one-ply papers, they're okay too, you just gotta be careful, one-ply. The Valterra does a great job. Comes down to personal preference and tushy preference. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, you'll try a few and see what you like. Um, the Valterra, I found, always had a nice blend of decent price for really good quality. Absolutely. And they typically, you know, they have 250 sheets per roll for a two-ply, where sometimes you'll find a paper a little cheaper. And the secret, if you're a newbie at this, and please, newbies, don't take offense by me calling you newbies because we've all been there. Oh, yeah. If you're new to RVing or you're looking at getting into RVing, that's why we do these videos. Take a look at how many um, sheets you actually Just get like you per roll. For your house. Household paper. Exactly. Because even that's gone up a lot. Because yep. <laughs> sometimes you'll see there's a pack, and, and as dealers, I know when I used to have the dealership and I would shop for this product for parts store, I would keep an eye out because sometimes you'd see this deal and it's like, wow, that's a great pay, a great deal for that paper. I can save our customers some money. And then you look down and you go, what? It's 160 sheets instead of 250. Well, that's not a deal. That's actually more money. So keep an eye on that. The Valterra here, the Bella Vista carry, is a great brand, great paper. Um, we wanted to bring you this video. Very important to use the right paper. I've seen, and Annette has seen, customers that have gotten into trouble. And I've, I've seen where they can't even empty their black tank can you? I have I've never that is, I've seen that oh. and that is that's so that's a big key. I've not, not a, seen it. I've no. had a few customers tell me they got close where the paper had jammed the dump yeah. and they were lucky enough with the tissue digesters that they let it sit for a few days, filled the tank through the toilet, and that extra water volume and the chemical ate the paper up over a few days to a week and they got lucky. I've never had anybody that was totally jammed. And I will tell you, you go into your service department and they have to start pulling those pipes apart to get it unclogged. This is going to look really inexpensive, yes. folks. <laughs> um, so I'm glad that's something new I've learned today because yeah, I've like never seen it one. that bad. Only, only one. one. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. but that one is all that that's you need <laughs> to hear about. That's right. So, if you're looking to get into RVing, you are an RVer, go with RV paper. It'll break down, it'll save you. Uh, lots of money, lots of headache down the road. And lots of time. And lots of time. That's really the big key. You know, you I want to be out having fun, not declogging you. Imagine you got a four <laughs> week trip planned and you can't dump your tank in the uh, first exactly. week because the paper has jammed it up. That'd be a real pity. Yeah. Anyways, this is Bruno from RVing TV. And Annette from Bella Vista RV. Saying thank you to you, our viewers, for watching the parts pick of the week. Check back every Monday. We'll bring you a new part. Leave us your comments below of parts you'd like to see or questions you have. Thank you again to Annette and Bella Vista for giving us the opportunity to use their parts store and parts here. Smash the like button and that subscribe, and we'll see you back here next week. Take care, make sure you live life to the fullest.